Hello and welcome to another review. Right today we're going up to Norway and the Admudsian Braggery. And this is Run to the Pills. It's coming in at 4.7% ABV. Fantastic artwork on this can. Look at this. How cool is that? Trying to get the reflection off it. It's one of them kind of silver wrap cans. But yeah, brilliant stuff. Not had any beers from this brewery. They're out of Oslo in Norway. Um, it's got a can on date. Oh, best before the 3rd of April of 2018. So being a Pilsner. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, this is part of... Um, I don't know if it's August of 2017's box or whatever. Um, from Beer 52. I'll put the links down below. Anyway, it's one of them kind of 360 ring pull cans so let's crack this one open then and see what we get wow I know there's a lot of issues with um, as I'm becoming more aware of um, let's grab a glass of canned craft beer of oxidization it's um, it seems to be a lot more prevalent these days wow that is really kind of pale very crisp, Pilsner-esque looking beer. Let me just let that settle down so I can get my nose in on this one. Yeah, there, there, there seems to be a lot of, not, it's not restricted to any kind of brewery, it's just across the board with oxidization. That is a mega pile, look, check that out. Wow, that is really pile. Interesting looking beer there then. So yeah, this oxidisation within cans, um, I noticed a lot of cans recently have been filled right up to the brim. As soon as you crack the can open, it's literally to the ceiling of a can. Just to maintain that oxidisation, I guess, if I can say it. Anyway, so yeah, it's a slightly kind of very pale straw coloured beer. Slightly hazy, but that you can see the other side of the glass through the beer. It had a half a finger of pure white head in this nice looking pilsner. Let's get my nose in and try to get an aroma. Very kind of almost lemongrass aroma. Straw. Slight wheat hedge, but lemongrass is the key in this one. Very subtle. Mm, let's give it a try anyway. Cheers. Yeah. The aroma is exactly the same on, on, on the on the palate. It's, it's that got that nice kind of lemongrass, refreshing kind of crisp taste to it. Once you get past that, it's got it's, it's almost intermingled with that kind of pilsner kind of malt. I have no idea what they've used for this beer. Uh, maybe sars hops or I don't know. I have no idea. Ingredients: uh, water, hops, malted barley, yeast, yeast. Um, and then it goes into another language that, yeah, I could barely understand English. So, uh, best before I see the blah 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 blah, and that's it. There's nothing on untapped on this at all, commercial description wise. Let me just pour the rest of this in. Yeah, very crisp looking beer, as you can see. Gentle carbonation, but yeah, the artwork is light. Fantastic. I have to remember to tilt these cans as I'm doing like three in one go. So, yeah, definitely getting a kind of a pilsnery, crackery malt going on there. Not too sharp or anything like that. 4.7%. Nice beer. Slightly bready, 
but nothing too kind of overpowering. If you was getting into craft beer um, in in Norway, or you have to come across this in the UK, and you are a lager drinker, mainstream kind of lager drinker, um, this is definitely one of them beers to to try. It's got a little bit more flavour. This is probably the same thing I've said for other reviews of of this kind of style of beer. Um, but yeah, as for a rating, then. Um, I don't, I don't do ratings to style, I just do ratings to beers, how I perceive it for my taste buds. Um, would I buy it again? Yes. If I saw this, I'd be like, and I fancy the Pilsner at that time, because a lot of styles are kind of mood related and that kind of thing, um, and weather related, and there's so many kind of, you know, you know what it's like. Um, I'm happy to give this a 7.5 out of 10. So it's a seven and a half out of ten for me. If you've had this beer from, if I can pronounce it, I'll probably pronounce it three times in this review differently. Uh, at Amun, Munzen, Braggery, uh, Norway. Put your comments down below. My first beer from these guys, so I've got another two to come. Um, I've got the uh, uh, I've got the Barefoot Grapefruit Saison. So check that out soon. And then after that. I will have the Everyday Hero, it's a New World IPA. So check out for them. All from Beer52, I mentioned it during reviews as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, that'd be really cool of you. Thank you for watching. Twice. Anyway, I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.